is that one of the major causes of infertility right now are endocrine disruptors. And these are found in plastics, flame retardants, electronics, food packaging, pesticides, personal care products, and cosmetics. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am gonna go through a question that keeps showing up and showing up on my Q&As on Thursday. And so I wanted to devote a whole video to it, which is fasting and infertility. Can you use fasting to help with an infertility problem? So if you're new to my channel, I am here to teach you all things fasting and I am on a mission to get a million people this year dedicated and building themselves a fasting lifestyle. Because as you'll see in this video, fasting can turn on the healing power in your body like nothing I've ever seen. And for those of you guys that always share my videos out, again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I love being on this journey with you guys. Okay. Let's dive into it. So I want to start off this article. You can see I've highlighted the heck out of it. Uh, this article came out in the New York Times this week, and I want to read the title of it. The title of the article is The Everyday Chemicals That Might Be Leading Us to Our Extinction. So infertility is becoming a major issue for human beings right now, both men and women. So what I wanna do is teach you which fast you can lean into, and then I wanna talk a little bit about this article and talk about what toxins you need to avoid. So first, when I look at lifestyle changes that need to happen when, if you're dealing with the infertility issue, I really look at two major issues. The first, and this is both men and women, by the way, the first is that we've got to look at insulin resistance. So at the root cause of an infertility situation is a human being that is stuck in insulin resistance. So if you're a man, let's start there. If you're a man and we've got infertility issues on your end, please start intermittent fasting. It's the greatest thing to just step into and really work on bringing your carb loads down. Quite simple for men. Not so simple for women. We have hormones that are coming and going, especially if we're trying to get pregnant. So I've developed something called the fasting circle. I am going to be teaching this in my academy. So women, if you love this idea and you wanna know how to use the fasting circle, join me in my academy. As we move closer to the summer months, I'm gonna be going into this in depth with my academy members. But for this video, I wanna give you an overview of the fasting circle. When we look at our cycle, and I'm just going to say in a 30 day period, so this isn't, this is, a, these are estimates, which is why I'm going to teach this in my academy. But when we look at the, at our, our uh, menstrual cycle in a 30 day period, we have hormones that are coming and going, and we need to build our fasts around those hormones. So here we go. Ready? You might want to write this down. Day one through day 10, your body's trying to make estrogen. You can fast as much as you want. If you are a fasting fanatic and you want to do a 24 hour, or a three day, go for it, girl. Day one through 10, you can totally fast like crazy. If you love keto, I would encourage you to go keto during that time. If you're brand new and you're like, I don't really fast much, then in that section, day one through day 10, I want you to bring your carb load way down. I want you off the breads, the pastas, the sugars. I want you to change out your oils and I want you to start intermittent fasting. So that would be more for the beginner. Now on day 11 through day 15, this is when most women are ovulating. If you don't know when you ovulate, you may want to get an ovulation kit. I know there's a lot of really cool information coming out about how to time or see where you're ovulating, but let's just for the sake of this video, say that you're ovulating from day 11 to day 15. Okay. In an ovulation period for most people, we've got our estrogen or most women, estrogen and testosterone at their highest and a little blurb of progesterone. So in that time period, you want to stick to a like intermittent fast of about 15 hours. Um, and you want to really support your microbiome. So eat a lot of plants because you need a really healthy microbiome to break down your hormones so they're usable to your body. 
especially if you're struggling with the ovulation, there's a whole set of bacteria in your gut called the estrobilome. Those bacteria will help you utilize the little bit of estrogen you may be getting. So that happens between day 11 and day 15. Now, if you're actively trying to get pregnant from day 15 on until, you, until your cycle starts, until you bleed, I want you not to fast. I want you to step out of fasting. And I want you to lean into more of nature's foods. So this is more of your uh, squashes, your beans, your potatoes. This is not a time to go ice cream and pizza. This is a time to use those foods that build progesterone. You need progesterone for a fertilized egg to be able to implant on the uterine wall. So, so if you are actively trying to get pregnant day 16, until you bleed, I want you no fasting and I want you leaning into those foods that I recommended. So then once you bleed, if you don't get pregnant, you're going into a more ketogenic, into more fast. And then as you come out of the, out of the ovulation period, we're going more into building progesterone. So that's how we would use the fasting circle for a woman that's trying to get pregnant. Okay, let's talk about the second root cause. This is toxicity. This is a big deal and it's just, it's all over the place, you guys, and it just hurts my heart that we are seeing lower and lower sperm counts in men and we're seeing more miscarriages in women. So I am going to link this article that the New York Times put out. I'll link it in the notes here. I wanna read to you some of the things that they said. The first is that one of the major causes of infertility right now are endocrine disruptors. And these are found in plastics, flame retardants, electronics, food packaging, pesticides, personal care products, and cosmetics. So women, change out your cosmetics. Men, both men and women, let's look at, stop using plastics. Let's stop using harmful chemicals in our house. You know, when you buy a new, flipping laptop, it starts off gassing these chemicals that are bringing testosterone levels down and are contributing to infertility. So the article lays it all out. The other major contributor toxin to uh, infertility are phthalates. And phthalates are in your, your perfumes and your air fresheners. So please, you guys, men, get rid of the cologne. Women, get rid of the perfumes. Stop putting those Christmas tree air fresheners in your car, the plugins, those are phthalates and they are destroying your testosterone levels and they are contributing to infertility. So get rid of those. This is massively important. We also have to look at the endocrine disruptors. So women, if you're struggling to get pregnant, stop putting the toxic beauty products on your body. Your body's absorbing that. And it's lowering testosterone levels. It's contributing to miscarriages. And then the last one is plastics. So get rid of the plastic bottles, the saran wrap, the styrofoam. Stop the plastic barrage. They say now that it's not a, it's a function of basically not if you have plastics in your body as a human, it's how much. So your toxic environment really makes a difference. So I kid you not, we are seeing this across our platforms that if you fix insulin resistance using the protocol I just taught you, and you really work on your toxic load, some of you might need to go into more advanced detoxing, that that is absolutely helping so many, both men and women, helping with infertility issues. So please go back and listen to this, take notes, spread this message out, because it, this is a really sad situation that's happening to us right now. Last thought for you guys, I wanna make sure that you have information on this. So the first thing, We've done a blog post called Everything You Need to Know About Detox. It's on my website. If you just put in the comments, detox or article on detox, we will make sure that you get the link to that information. So you have a basic understanding of what you need to do to detox. Um, those of you that know you've been struggling with infertility, you know you've been exposed to a lot of heavy metals like mercury in your mouth, lead in our water is a huge problem. Just go listen to Erin Brockovich. Uh, she's very vocal right now about the lead situation in our world, especially here in America, that you may want to start to test your heavy metals. So we do this in our academy. We do it on our platform. We really want you to be able to see your toxic load. So if you want to test your heavy metals and know if they're a factor in, uh, in fertility for you right now, just put heavy metal test and we'll send you a link to that. 
But I, I, this is really a serious situation that can be really fixed with those two things. So as always, I just want to put out the information out there. I know it's a heavy topic. It's trending. This information is trending. So don't give up on yourself. Women, men, if you guys are struggling, start with those two things. And as always, please let me know if this information is helpful and what I can do to help you on your fertility path because you're born in a miracle and we want to make healthy babies and we want having a baby to be effortless for you and we want to raise healthy humans. So as always, I hope that helps.